Hello everybody, it is March 8th, 2017, and it, it is also vlog number 200! This is a good way to start the morning. A little traffic action. I'm taking my daughter to school. What is going on over here? So this is vlog number 200. Pretty exciting. Pretty cool that I got this, I've gotten this far so far in this journey. First started the vlog, the concept was to do it for 365 straight days. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened. I mean, there's a couple of things that, that stuck that prevented me. You know, I had a trip to Seattle that uh, I didn't vlog for like two or three days. Although I did a, a um, like a trip vlog. And then there was the moving thing. Other than that, I have put out a vlog pretty much every single day. Every day, I become more addicted to doing it. I love doing it. I love documenting my life. I love seeing what my life is good. My life is like. Well, I'm really curious to see what happens on my one year anniversary when I look back at each vlog and see how my life has developed, um, where my life has gone, um, everything has happened, the little things that happened that I forgot. Now I'm thinking the vlog is something more than, get, than getting to 300, 365 days. I think the vlog is more about just my life now that I'm gonna keep, I'm probably gonna continue to do it past the 365 days that I want to do. From what I see, you know, the people that watch it, you know, I don't have many many subscribers, but the people that do subscribe seem to like this vlog, the, the style of vlog that I do. And the thing is, I don't see myself getting tired of doing this anytime in the future. So there's gonna be nothing special about this vlog I'm not gonna have any balloons or confetti falling down or a big party about it. It's just 200 days of my life, 200 vlogs of my life documenting my life one day at a time. Well, looky here, look what I found. The organic energy drink. I am going to get one. And since I know today it's going to be slow at work because of this construction uh, uh, conference going on, it gives me plenty of time to think about what I'm going to do after work because I'm probably going to be getting off early again. Hmm. Maybe I'll go to Savers because today is that $2 tag day and then hit that clearance section. I think that's what I'm going to do. I can somehow get off early, which I'm 95% sure I'll be out of here by 4 or 5 o'clock. So just as I expected, it was super slow again. The contractor convention is still in full swing. I'm not sure when they're going to leave, but they need to leave soon, so we can get some real gamblers in this casino. Anyways, it's 5 o'clock, I'm going to head home, but first, I got to go get my daughter, because I have, I have a, my wife wants me to do it, and I like doing it. I don't get a chance to pick up my daughter very often, but I will do it tonight, so, and I'll be dealing with that traffic again. Ugh. Because this is what I'm dealing with right now. This is the top you know, on the strip. I don't know if you see the lights back there. Right there's the lights. I'm far from those lights. I might be hitting this too. So I think Christmas hit the Baltazar house today because my daughter got something in the mail today. Go show what you got. She is more excited than Christmas. Look at this. Turn around. It's a emoji shower curtain. Look at that. Amazing. Thumbs up. You like that? 
Oh my God. We got all that. Uh, the emoji, that's the, that's the new rage in this world now. We'll be fighting each other in the morning. So it's like 7.42 in the PM and I'm in trench at home and I freaking love it. Even though work sucked and I got left early, this is what I ultimately want. My time back. Or I could be home at an early hour and be home with my family. You know, I just finished doing homework with my daughter. You know, talk to my wife. We went on a little walk. We actually walked the neighborhood. You know, it's really not just to, you know, just to walk, get some fresh air. And that is another reason why I'm so entrenched on making eBay work. Because ultimately, if eBay replaces my, my dealing job, then I can get off early like this voluntarily and be home with my family. And that's what I really want. That's ultimately what I want. It's about time. It's about, you know, being with my family, be there. Cause I really, you know, I just feel when I come home at like nine o'clock, I just don't feel, you know, that I'm helping out. Cause I get home, I gotta eat, I gotta rest and work on eBay that I'm not really being, you know, the, the father or the husband that I should be. So, and it kind of gets me down a little bit, but you know, it's, it, it is what it is right now. Yeah, I mean, I wish it could be like this every day, but right now it can't be. But once the eBay gets going, once I get it revved up again, and I can make that money, hopefully I'll be home a lot. So that is vlog number 200. And what have I learned doing 200 vlogs? The first thing I learned is that if you decide to do something, you really want to do it, you can do it. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to it. I truly believe that. And I set my mind 200 vlogs ago, August 20th, 2016, that I was going to put out a vlog nearly every day, every day for 365 days. And now I am beyond the 365 days. I want to do vlogging as much as I can. I want to do 2,000. What is that? Three, three years? About four years? I think I can do that. The other thing I learned is that this is like a great journal, a video journal of my life. And it's something that I can go back whenever I want and look at each day and click the day and say, I want to see what I did September 20th. I want to see what I did October 15th. I want to see what I did December 25th. I want to see what I did March 7th. And like I said earlier, I'm very, very curious to see like when I vlog on August 20th, 2017 to go back to each day and see what my life was. To see what I've become as a person, as a father, as a husband, as a guy that just lives his life here in the greatest city in the world, and that is Las Vegas. I mean, a lot of things have happened in my life in the what is it, six months that I've been doing this. And the one, the one constant that I've learned is I have you guys. Um, like I said before, I don't have many subscribers. I mean, as of now. The moment I'm recording this, I have 61 subscribers. And it's been a slow burn to get subscribers. But I noticed the people out there that do watch it, I do have a core. I do have a core of like nine or 10 people that watch it every day and that respond to my vlogs. And let me tell you guys, if you're one of them, I sincerely, with a bottom of my heart, appreciate every time you guys comment, you, you like it, you tell your friends. I love it. I think it's the best part is interaction, interacting with people that are interested in your life. And I want to grow that, you know, from that 61 and hopefully, you know, people in YouTube land will find my videos and want to watch my life. Watch what this guy from Las Vegas, a Las Vegas local who is a poker dealer on the strip, who has a beautiful wife and a beautiful kids and a beautiful home lives in this glamorous city 
call Las Vegas. The 200 vlogs have gone by very, very fast, I must say. It's incredible. This journey so far has been incredible. Hopefully, by April 20th, I'll have, you know, a lot of subscribers, people that watch it. But if not, for the people that do watch it, I really appreciate it. I am going to end the vlog right here for tonight. Comment, like, subscribe. Please share with your friends. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Vlog number 200.